Benjamin Samuel Bloom was an American educational psychologist who made contributions to the classification of educational objectives and to the theory of mastery learning. In 1956, he developed the Bloom's taxonomy with his collaborators. Bloom's taxonomy is a toolbox that teachers or students can use to classify and organize learning objectives. This framework has been applied by generations of K-12 teachers and college instructors in their teaching. It consists of six major categories, knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. The categories after knowledge were presented as skills and abilities with the understanding that knowledge was the necessary precondition for putting these skills and abilities into practice. While each category contained subcategories, all lying along a continuum from simple to complex and concrete to abstract, the taxonomy is popularly remembered according to the six main categories. There are six levels of taxonomy in Bloom's taxonomy. The first level of taxonomy is the knowledge. It is about remembering or retrieving previously learned material. Example verbs that are related are identify something, define, recall, name something, memorize, and repeat. The second level of taxonomy is comprehension. It is the ability to grasp or construct meaning from material. Example of verbs that are related to this function are locate, describe, discuss, illustrate, interpret, and explain. The third level of taxonomy is the application. It is the ability to use learned material in new and concrete situations. Examples of verbs that relate to this function are organize, apply, relate, employ, restructure, and illustrate. The fourth level of taxonomy is analysis. The ability to break down or distinguish the parts of material into its components so that its organizational structure may be better understood. Example of verbs that relate to this function are compare, differentiate, categorize, analyze, and examine. The fifth level of taxonomy is synthesis. It is the ability to put parts together to form a coherent or unique new whole. Example of verbs that relate to this function are compose, produce, plan, invent, design, assemble, and develop. The sixth and last level of taxonomy is evaluation. It is the ability to judge, check, and even critic the value of material for a given purpose. Example of verbs that relate to this function are judge, assess, compare, evaluate, measure, rate, and criticize. Now, let's proceed to the revised version of the Bloom's taxonomy. 45 years later, the original taxonomy was revised by Bloom's former students, Lauren Anderson and his fellow researcher, David Crathwell. Now, what are the revisions that both Anderson and Crathwell made to the original taxonomy? First, in the original taxonomy, the knowledge category embodied both noun and verb aspects. Example objective. After the discussion, the students shall be able to remember the definition of the figure of speech. 
the word remember is a verb, while the figure of speech is a noun. Thus, it creates it creates a dimensionality to the category knowledge. The revised taxonomy allowed the two aspects from separate dimensions. The noun provided basis for the knowledge dimensions, and the verb provided basis for the cognitive process. Under the original Bloom's taxonomy, the knowledge category only included three knowledge dimensions. First, the factual, second, the conceptual, and third, the procedural. With Anderson and Crathwell updates, they added a fourth knowledge dimension, which is the metacognitive. This gives significance to the student's awareness of his metacognitive activities. Second, the categories were named and were changed to verb form to fit the way they were used in the objectives. Knowledge, the verb aspects of the original knowledge category was skipped but was renamed remember. Comprehension, Anderson and Crathwell both believed that understand was a widespread synonym of comprehending, so the comprehension was named understand. Application, analysis, and evaluation were retained but in their verb form as apply, analyze, and evaluate. Third, synthesis changed places with evaluation and was renamed create. The word synthesis was not very communicative about the learning actions. Therefore, it was replaced by creative, putting the learned things together in a novel way. In other words, create was the, at the top of the hierarchy because both believe that being able to give evaluation to a given fact, it is relevant or not, or if it is fact or not, is a prerequisite to be able to create something from it. Now, Let's discuss about the different levels of the revised version of Bloom's taxonomy by Anderson and Crathwell. On the first level, we learn to remember. There is just rote memorization and recollection of facts without much understanding. For example, if we learn about lemons, we want to remember the name, shape, color, size, and that they are sour. Once we memorize these essentially meaningless facts, we move to the second level of learning. On level 2, we learn to understand. We begin to decode information and learn that a lemon is yellow when it's ripe to eat. And we take a bite that it's really super sour. We also understand that lemons love sunshine and that they contain lots of vitamin C, which is a great natural antioxidant that keeps us healthy. Now, as we really understand a lemon, we can work with it. On the third level, we apply what we know. We've understood that while lemons are sour, they are also a great provider of vitamin C. To apply this knowledge in a meaningful, meaningful way, we could boil a lemon into hot water and add some honey. Then serve this hot lemon to our sick sister who is in need of a treatment. On the fourth level, we learn to analyze this involves examining and breaking down information into components, determining how the parts relate to one another, and finding evidence to support generalizations. We study the lemon flesh, examine the skin, and look at levels of vitamins. We conclude that we can eat everything inside while the skin tastes bitter and contains traces of toxic pesticides. It ought not to be consumed. Now we are ready to evaluate. We analyze, critique, and compare. To, ev to evaluate our lemon as a good source of vitamin, we compare it to other sources such as oranges and supplements. We look at the following properties. Vitamin levels, affordability, taste, 
and packaging waste. If we evaluate our thoughts critically and without bias, we learn where the lemons score high and where others score higher. Now, after we have learned, understood, applied, analyzed, and evaluated, we are ready to create. As we now really understand lemons, also in comparison to similar things, we can formulate a plan to create our own natural lemonade. It's now easy to can come up with a cute shop design, a good name, sweet lemons, and a good slogan, natural, healthy, yummy. Conclude, the revision of the original taxonomy is a two-dimensional framework, knowledge and cognitive processes. The former most resembles the subcategories of the original knowledge category. The latter resembles the six categories of the original taxonomy with the knowledge category named Remember, the comprehension category named Understand, Synthesis renamed Create and made the top category, and the remaining categories changed to their verb forms, Apply, Analyze, and Evaluate. They are arranged in a hierarchical structure but not as rigidly as in the original taxonomy. Both the original and the revised became a very important tool to assess the outcome of the instruction which up until now are used as a basis of many educators. It is a tool that helps to measure the depth and grasp of the students to the lesson that was discussed. It helps the teacher assess if the teaching and learning process was successfully and effectively executed.